Hey everyone, it's Jessica from the Foothills family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us today for another unboxing. We are so excited to show you this box. But first, I just wanted to tell you all thank you. Thank you so much for all your kind and sweet comments on our last video of my son Grayson unboxing the box that he put together. He loved hearing all your comments and encouraging words. So thank you for taking some time out of your day to do that. This year we decided to do four boxes that represent four very special places in the world. Mexico is a very special country to me. And one of the main reasons is I was actually in Mexico the first time I'd ever heard of Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Hear more about that as we unbox this shoe box. So this box is for a girl ages 10 to 14 and the theme is Mexico. Right on top I have a couple of these little stickers. There is a cactus and some maracas and I also put this really cute little picture of some cactuses and you'll see this prayer card from Dollar Tree and there is a reason I chose this Bible verse. It says, let your light shine before others, Matthew 5, 16. So when I was 18 years old, I had the amazing opportunity to go on my first missions trip. And that was, you guessed it, Mexico. And we went to do several things. One was to help build a church. And the church had been started by different teams traveling to Mexico. And we were going and we were working on the inside of the church and specifically building, making benches for the people to sit on. The name of that church was Lighthouse. And that's the reason I chose this Bible verse for this shoebox. The first thing I have in here is this really pretty notebook that we did with washi tape and we just did different patterns. We did Mod Podge on there to make sure that it sticks and it's just a plain notebook like the ones that are on sale right now at Walmart, I think for 50 cents. And the colors of the Mexican flag has some of these same colors in it. You also see right on top we have our card in here. Our family picture. Really pretty card. This was actually a Valentine card that was sent to us and I just cut off the front of that and what I'm going to do is write on the back. This is a vintage wallet but it looks brand new from an auction site for one dollar and the reason I got this when we went to Mexico we had the opportunity to walk on the streets and visit different marketplaces and that was one of my favorite things that we got to do. A little chain on it if she wants to hook it onto a backpack. It's really well made. It's lined inside. Next on top is her reusable pads and what I did inside of this one I put two pairs of underwear and then I also folded I believe four reusable pads and then a wet bag that is a little smaller than this size so I thought this might maybe slip in her backpack if she goes to school and I have put a pair of underwear and a reusable pad already on the underwear so she can see how to put the reusable pad on there. This was such a fun project for me to do. I have recently learned to crochet and I've worked on some just some simple projects like this one and um, I love the colors. Everywhere we went in Mexico that was one thing I loved about about going and being in Mexico was it was such a colorful place to visit. Although this is an older girl's box, I don't think anything's wrong with putting a doll in there. You never know. She might have never received a doll before, and this could be a special keepsake for her. In the four special shoe boxes that are based on different countries, there is one of these dolls in there. And the reason I even have these dolls is because of Sweet Sonia from Sonia's Shoe Boxes. 
she got these 90% off from World Market and blessed me with four of these for these really four special boxes. And I just love this doll. I love the patterns of her dress. This is actually a hat or she could wear it like a scarf. So I'll put the doll there and let her hold her little flower. Last year after Christmas at Dollar General, really cheap pencil sharpener from Dollar General, I believe. And I've slipped inside this gorgeous little charm. I got this on clearance from Hobby Lobby and I've just put on their two-toned necklace. I also got this on clearance from Hobby Lobby. I just think it's so pretty. I included this a pair of socks and these were wrapped inside her elastic. And these are really soft. These are on clearance at Walmart. Also has a little accessory bag inside our colorful little plastic butterflies and other really pretty clips. These are from Amazon. Also, some of these were donated by our shoebox friend Denise from D. Rogers. There's also a really pretty scrunchie in there. Here are her pencils. These are brightly colored. We also have sharpened one and I just used a piece of cardboard that was from, I believe, an Amazon package and a rubber band to keep those protected. The sharpened pencils would not mess up anything in her box. She also has a pink highlighter and several pins. All these were on clearance. Another pair of socks. These were also purchased on clearance. She has a toothbrush. We packaged these up together, if you remember, in one of our videos. Here's the elastic that I just showed a second ago. I had wrapped one of her socks in there just for space. And this goes with her jewelry kit. So let me show you her jewelry kit. Before I show you the jewelry kit, you can see how I just layered everything in here. This is a standard box or jewelry kit. A rubber band on it just to make sure it doesn't come loose. When she opens it, I have packed it full of all kinds of fun things. And you can see she has another Bible verse, beautiful promise that the Lord will never leave her or forsake her. Inside of here, I have packed some erasers. You can see an eraser here, and there is an eraser there. There are several sharpeners. I also have a paracord in here. There is her hygiene pack. We made that together too. Her emery boards and her fingernail clippers. And then I'll show you this in a second. These are from Hobby Lobby. They're so colorful. And there's a lot of wooden beads. And inside here are some spacers and just some really pretty crystal beads. Most, if not all, were purchased from Hobby Lobby. This little bag tucked in her jewelry kit. Special bracelets for her. This one you may recognize from our shoebox friend, Made by Mel Studios. She makes these beautiful cross bracelets for me. And I also gave her some really pretty bracelets. This one says, Be Kind. And this one's just really colorful and bright. Reminded me so much of Mexico and the beautiful colors there. I'm not going to unwrap it, but it is a very nice large canvas tote bag. Her to carry all of her items home and even she could use it for school. One dollar after summer clearance at Walmart, I believe last year. Instead of using so many elastic rubber bands when she packs, she likes to use these kind of rubber bands. So. The young lady who receives them can reuse them. I thought that was such a good idea. So I'm trying to do that more. This is a pouch from the company Ipsy. This is Ipsy. This was a donation. I have slipped a really pretty pin. That was also a donation. Red pin. And just another fun pin, purple pin. My sister actually uses this kind when she makes stickers for us. And these are scented. So there's apple scented, strawberry,
banana, blueberry, orange, peach, and pineapple. My mom actually purchased these for us, and these are purchased from Hobby Lobby. Pretty coloring book. Inside, I have slipped bookmark that I purchased from Oriental Trading. It has a Bible verse, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. A really nice coloring book. The pages are really thick. I think that she will enjoy coloring in her coloring book. Little sticky notes and little tabs that she can use. I just left it in the plastic. I did have to cut it a little bit so I could fit it on the side of the shoe box. It's also a donation. I'll show you her outfit last. I wanted to give her another little notebook, one that we made um, when we also made the really pretty notebook that we showed at the beginning. I made these using the little notebooks that you can get in a set of three from Walmart. And this is washi tape and a little sticker that we got from the Dollar Tree. And we put Mod Podge on the front different stickers that my sister made. thought that would be a fun surprise for her as she looks through here. She'll find different stickers. There's another maraca set. There's another cactus. This really pretty flower. That's one of my favorite stickers that she made. Maybe sometime I can show you how she made them. This is one of my favorite stickers that she made. Isn't that pretty? One more little sticker. I gave her a pencil pouch. This was purchased actually from walmart.com. I got a really good deal on these beautiful, fun, colorful bandana. This is from Hobby Lobby. The price there for bandanas is always 99 cents. Last but not least is her outfit. And you can see, again, I used our subscriber friend's idea from last year and put these little rubber bands that Denise had donated to us and wrapped her outfit up very tight right on the side of the shoe box. First, I want to show you her beautiful skirt, the company Sheen. I'm probably not saying that right, but we were able to get this for free with a donation of money and I saw this on there and just knew I wanted to get this for this shoe box. And my daughter loves to order from them. Usually on some things you do have to go a little bit bigger. Card on the tag and her shirt's from Old Navy, size 1416. Wow, this was such a fun box to pack. So many memories as I think about my missions trip that I took so long ago now. But one thing I wanted to share, as I mentioned at the beginning, this was the first time I'd ever heard about Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. And on our missions trip, we were able to travel from Texas into Mexico every day to work on this church to visit the people and get to know them such a blessing the first day that we came we brought a lot of supplies and we had some difficulty getting in just getting across to mexico and while we were there waiting to get across that was actually when i'd heard about shoe boxes unfortunately the year before they did not allow uh, operation christmas child shoe boxes to enter through the certain area and they were not able to pass them out however after that they were able to have shoe boxes sent there i believe the church also was able to receive some so that was such an encouragement and that really got my interest peaked and what are these shoe boxes how did people pack these these christmas gifts really just got me interested in shoe boxes so mexico will always hold a special place in my heart because really that's the beginning of our shoe box journey we'll continue to do for years to come if the lord allows friends i hope you enjoyed seeing this special shoe box it's one of my favorites that i have put together just all the memories that are put in here and i just pray this shoe box is a blessing to the girl that receives it that she knows that there are people 
across the world, possibly that are praying for her, love her and desire for her to know Jesus as her savior and Lord. Thank you so much for watching our videos and thank you for packing shoe boxes. You are a blessing. With every single shoe box that you send, it is a gospel opportunity. A seed is planted into the hearts and the lives of children around the world. And we never know what a difference one small shoe box makes in the life of a child and their community. Until next time, friends, take care and God bless you. Oh yeah, I meant to share this earlier. This is how I keep up with what box goes where. I just write the theme, the age and gender, and who packed it. And Grayson wanted to share what he had been doing while I was packing shoe boxes. Bye friends.